Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're going to be looking at fractions, decimals and percentages, how to convert from one to another. So what we have to remember here is the fraction cycle. Fractions, decimal, percentages cycle. To go from fractions to decimals, you divide the top of the fraction by the bottom of the fraction. To go from decimals to percentages, you multiply the decimal by 100 and add a percentage sign. To go from percentages to fractions, you write as a fraction out of 100, then simplify. I'm going to show you how to do all of these steps one by one here. But first, I would like you to pause the video and copy down this uh, poster here so you can remember it. Okay, we'll move on. So first we're going to go from fractions to decimals. And we do that by dividing the top by the bottom. We're going to do it with these two fractions here. The twentieths. We do 3 divided by 20. I like to add some decimals on. Some zeros on the end. To make it easier. And I do... How many 20s go into 3? 0. Remainder, 3. How many 20s go into 30? 1. Remainder, 30 minus 20 is 10. So there's a remainder of 10. How many 20s go into 100? 5. And the answer is 0 0.15. There are no more Remainders, we have done the division. Now, let's see that again. Let's do 17 divided by 50. Like this. Now, how many 50s go into 1? 0. How many 50s go into 17? 0. So we carry the 17 over. How many 50s go into 170? 3. 3 times 150 is... Uh, 3 times 50 is 150. 170 minus 150 is 20. There is a remainder of 20. How many 50s go into 200? 4. And there are no remainders. That is the final answer. This is probably the trickiest part of the cycle, so you will need practice with this. Now, go from decimals to percentages. We use our, the same decimals as before, and all we do is multiply by 100. And we get 15% and 34%. Don't forget your percentage signs. Now, let's go from percentages to fractions. So just write it as a fraction out of 100, like this, 15 out of 100 and 34 out of 100. That's what 15% means, it means 15 out of 100. So we simplify, the top one, we can divide the top and bottom by 5. So divide by 5, divide by 5, and we get 3 out of 20, 3 twentieths, and we're back to the start of our fraction. Now. We've got 34 and 100, we can divide by 2 and divide by 2. That's what we do here. And we get 17 out of 50. Okay, that's a full fraction cycle. It shows you how to go find, convert from a percentage, a fraction or a decimal to the rest. Now, it's your turn to practice. I want you to fill in this table you're given the fraction here, I want you to find the decimal and the percentage. Are you given the decimal, I want you to find the fraction and the percentage. And you've got the fraction poster over here to help you. Pause the video now, take some time and try it yourself. Okay, I'll reveal the answer in 3, 2, 1. How did you do? Did you get it right? Let me know in the comments.
that's everything from today at Advanced Maths. Thank you for watching. Remember to comment, share and subscribe to help your friends as well. Have a good day and bye for now.